If you are planning to buy an AMD Ryzen 9000 series based system, this, the new Zen 5 CPUs, and you are going to use it for music production, you should perhaps wait a little bit because there are some issues with uh, plugins that needs the uh, iLock uh, software and uh, the UAD software. People are reporting that when they uh, use this type of software, you get uh, crashing and unresponsive DOS when you are using plugins and VSTs using uh, iLock licensing manager and uh, the UAD uh, manager. Being an honest user and paying uh, user for software sometimes has its drawbacks and we see it here, especially when authentication software like this stops working or just takes over your computer completely. So iLock blames uh, AMD and says that uh, this is a bug in uh, the AMD CPU itself apparently and they hope that AMD will release a uh, fix that will uh, yeah, solve this problem. However, at the recording of uh, this video, there is no such fix yet and uh, when the fix is out, it will. Uh, I will place a link or uh, instruction in the video description below so you can see what to do. I also want to thank everyone that have left comments on my videos warning other people about this issue so you don't uh, use a lot of hours troubleshooting something that apparently is at the moment unfixable at least. On my PC I use the Ryzen 9 7950X CPU and that generation of CPUs doesn't have any issues with this at all. So if you are planning a PC build based on that generation of CPU, iLock and uh, the other type of software will work just fine. It's only the newer CPUs from AMD that has this issue, the 9000 series, uh, as far as I know. So this just shows that living on the bleeding edge is uh, not always uh, the best course of action. That's why I have said in earlier videos of mine that it's smart to wait and see uh, a bit uh, before you build a new system to see if it has any issues. And to be clear, this is not an issue of out of date Windows, Windows 10 or Windows 11 or outdated drivers. It's uh, it's a, apparently a CPU issue that needs to be fixed. I'm not sure if it's going to be fixed with a uh, BIOS update or if it's a software update. Uh, either way, when we know more, I will have a link below this video explaining more uh, how to, to fix this stuff. At the same time, I just want to take uh, the opportunity to shout out some plugin makers that have easier licensing routines uh, like Yuhi, FabFilter, Valhalla DSP, um, Exfer who makes Serum, Reveal Sound that makes Spire, it's a great synthesizer, Standard Clip, Synapse Audio, uh, using uh, the Legend VST and I mean many, uh, many others. They have uh, easier ways of licensing the software, I think. Uh, apparently not using the iLock. And uh, I get that you want to copy protect your software, obviously, but um, I hope that other plugin makers can find a, get, find a good way to get perhaps away from iLock and find another way to, to license their software. So that's uh, today's public service announcement and uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.